Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through, going through Bitcoin for you all here, <laughs> lose my words, uh, on looking at this channel that we have been holding extremely, extremely well over the past few days, okay? We can clearly say see great support on the bottom of this channel, okay? And strong resistance at the midpoint and undoubtedly the top as well. We've also seen a few touches, but currently you see the coinciding variables of the midpoint of this channel coinciding with the 6.5 coinciding with old support flipping to resistance and that was our target of the day as I posted out earlier this morning uh, just highlighting to you all saying uh, I actually wrote it saying all of the Bitcoin perma bears that have been shorting every single move up over the last few days are getting absolutely wrecked they're just adding fuel to the fire and, and increasing this movement up and I just think um, yeah there's a time and a place to short this market as I said here um, one must adapt to the market and not get stuck with a bias you know these people that are so bearish and they're just shorting every single movement up is a very bad idea okay as, uh, as somebody said to me, like, uh, fair enough, like, I will short this when the sell signal is there. Uh, until that happens, I will continue making money going long on this coin right now, on Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, I will definitely be ready to short when there's a confirmation of a short signal, okay, which we have not had. And that is why I'm just saying, like, you need to ad adjust to this market, okay? You really need to adjust and, and you know, lose that negativity, lose that emotional bias uh, to Bitcoin and, and, you know, start making money. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was just a kind of a you know, bringing your attention that there's no need to keep shorting this. And that was obviously this morning where we've seen, you know, a few percent rise since then. OK, uh, actually, this morning I posted over on the uh, cha champions chart saying that my targets of the day, this was at the, you know, the beginning of the day, more or less one o'clock, uh, saying that uh, my targets were 5,386 and 5,397. Uh, 5, they were my next upside targets. OK. We can clearly see there being the 618 and also this overhead resistance leading up to that point. And today this actually played out absolutely perfectly because you can see that we got rejected firstly at 3,588 and then we moved up for a second leg where we saw slight wicks above my overall target. So that was a great profit of the day, just like I'm just showing you that I, you know, clearly pointed out my targets here and those targets were realized. Yes, they were. Rejection exactly from the 618 line, as I posted earlier. And then we saw the rejection from 97 uh, for a 0.2% scope. And then you're coming up again for that retest. OK, so there's the rejection on the 618 coming back down for $20, retesting it on the bearish divergences. And obviously we're pulling back. But what I would say is on this smaller term time frame right now, you can clearly see this uptrend is still very much intact, okay? So we're clearly still in this uptrend. So there's no need, even now, like on the pullbacks, this is what I meant. This, so I tweeted this out as well saying earlier, okay? Um, so <laughs> this was kind of a little bit of bragging and I'm, I apologize for that. But yeah, I really am trading this market like the back of my hand right now. It's it's extremely easy for me to be trading this. It's just really easy. And uh, like rejections from, the, you know, the rejections from the exact points. And I'm just saying, don't try and fight the trend. And what we're talking about is the macro trend, the macro higher highs and higher lows. Do not try and fight that unless it sculpts like I was doing. So obviously I was shorting these, this, the, these resistances for sculpts. OK, I was not holding these uh, shorts for like mid term anything like that it's just simply sculpting so you do not want to sculpt this uptrend at the moment um, you do not want to hold swing trades in this uptrade at the moment there is a time and a place to be entering those swing shorts and it is not right now okay because you are yeah you would have definitely been wrecked today to be honest well not wrecked you know depending on, yeah i don't want to i don't want to continue with that i'm just saying you know there's a time and a place to be looking short and this uptrend is looking very healthy right now okay and yes, uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to short the market. I will short. A, I will open a short on Bitcoin when I see weakness in this uptrend. Okay, as you can see here on the smaller term time frame, we are just still, you know, moving up, hold, flipping resistance into support, moving up, flipping resistance into support, moving up, flipping resistance into the support. And you know, we're just moving up very nicely in this channel. But you know, undoubtedly, yes, we are running into the biggest resistance that we're going to see on this uptrend with this whole region right here and what which we are hitting right now so obviously taking the shorts down here was a lot safer now you would be if you are a bit late to the party going into the longs now you're, you're longing into resistance which is never a good idea um so yeah there's a time and a place for all positions and obviously i'm you know happy because I, I got some lower entries but you know if you did miss that boat and you are now looking for an entry you, you would not be really looking for a long right now on the resistance you want to see that resistance break and hold a support or just simply wait for a retracement uh, you know now is not really the time to be longing on this big area of resistance that we can see on the chart being 
you know, two double tops. So obviously we got the double top. Let's just show you here. We obviously got the double top under 6.5. So that's been heavily defended. Okay. And you also can just see this whole box that's going to flip into resistance. So yeah, there's definitely a time and a place to be, um, longing and shorting without a doubt um but yeah just market really really has not been difficult at all to trade it really hasn't there were obviously really important factors uh that were on this chart that, were, that i've literally been highlighting for everybody firstly we were in this parallel channel okay broke the parallel channel moved up outward of the parallel channel that 382 that was holding us down we broke out of that come back back, back tested it that old resistance and support and we've moved up so easily okay so easily like yeah I just find it it's so easy to be trading this right now and that's not trying to be like uh, you have to remember I find this easy to trade because I put in so many hours a day okay I'm putting in like 12 hours like charting every single day so yeah I put in a hell of a lot of time into charting um so that yeah it's not like it's easy just naturally it's like you, you I literally put in so much time and that's why um anyway I digress uh yeah yeah, I basically just see this tr this uptrend really, you know, strong right now. Yes, we're hitting resistance. So, you know, the important levels that I'll highlight for you in this video is obviously we are running into this key resistance. That is the uh, golden pocket. Okay, combined with this old support that's going to flip into resistance. But on the you know, up downward side, you know, for your buying opportunities. And you obviously we have key retracements to the downside where you can be looking for opportunities, but coming down to these areas would mean breaking out of this upward sloping channel, which would be a bit of a uh, red flag for me. Okay, uh, so that's what I'm watching right now. That's how I'm trading it. Uh, obviously, there has been, uh, you know, quite a red day really for altcoins and I'm trading more altcoins against BTC today. Obviously, there's been a few that have been red. Okay, mainly, by, you know, Binance coin. This is always a nice coin to, to sculpt trade because it's always, you know, uh, look, looking quite bullish because obviously it's just one of the biggest coins in the biggest uptrend. You look at this on the weekly. And I mean, look at that uptrend. So, of course, you're going to see, uh, you know, buyers stepping in quicker on a coin that's looking like this than a coin that's looking, I don't know, like an example like WAN, which is on a clear, massive downtrend. Um, yeah, that's that's why BNB is nice to scope because there's always buyers looking to buy in on these uptrends. Um, but obviously, there's going to be a time when it turns around. But yeah, that's 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 a really nice one to scope. And today, obviously, um, Komodo. So KMD, that was a pretty nice one. Okay, if you'd got in on the morning, obviously you need to get in kind of before the major move and then you can sculpt these movements on a smaller term time frame. But then obviously on the, the more of the macro, it's just, you know, heading into a little triangle here. But, you know, definitely opportunities on altcoins, but the majority obviously uh, fading out. Okay, yeah, that was another one, VeChain, which obviously came down to that great support level and got over a 10% bounce. So, uh, yeah, VeChain was nice actually as well. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say there's no opportunity on alts, but you do definitely want to be sculping alts uh, rather than midterm against the Bitcoin pairs anyway, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm looking at on Bitcoin. Those levels, as, as just mentioned, that's how I've been trading it. And yeah, absolutely enjoyable. I love technical analysis. <laughs> um, so I hope that you all love it, too. And uh, yeah, I will uh, upload this video now. So I hope that you've all enjoyed a bit of a quick one today uh, because I do want to get back to trading this chart. So uh, yeah, just a really quick video, quick update. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed. So thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, the website's coming along well. I'll, I'll let you know because I've obviously got a lot of questions with this register thing. Uh, so currently, the obviously, we've got the, the, the sections up, but this is open to... Um, old average students only at the moment so it's not like open to the public because we want to do like full-on testing etc so yeah the the actual website and the group uh mentorship um it's not open to the uh public yet it's uh just a private at the moment uh but you can look forward to that soon but yeah i've put in so much hours and so much work into this and so much money <laughs> um yeah i've put in a lot of a lot of time and i'm really happy with how it's coming along so yeah Really happy, really excited, loving trading, and that's it. Thank you, everybody, so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>